Hello guys, welcome to Engineers Academy. Now we are going to solve this problem 4-6 which says that the crowbar is subjected to a vertical force of 25 pound at the grip. So this P is 25 pounds and it is acting vertically downward where it takes a force of 155 pound at the class. So we have this force which is equal to 155 pound to pull out this nail, right? And it is said that find the moment of each force about point A and determine if P is sufficient to pull out the nail, the crowbar contacts the board at point A. Now we have to find the moment of that force P which is acting vertically applied due to that hand and the force which is required to pull out this nail is 155 pounds. So let me write that this is, this is 155 pounds pounds and this force f is 25 pounds now we can say that the moment due to that force p about point a is equal to so as we can see that uh, from here to here this distance is 14 inch this is given and this distance is 1.5 inch so to find the moment of this force p we have to apply the varignan's theorems and the varignan's theorem says that to find the moment of this force P, we have to resolve it into its components. And then we have to find the moments of the components of this force P about that point A, and then we will take the sum. So the Wergnan theorem says that the, the moment, the summation of the moment due to the components of a given force is always equal to the moment produced by that single force P. So if, if I if we look into this, so this uh, axis is uh, this line is making 20 degree and this angle as a whole is 90 degrees so from this we can say that this P is making 90 minus 20 degrees so that is 70 degrees with this line right so now we can resolve this P force into its components it will have two components one of its components will be acting in this direction like this this one will be the cos component we can say that this is if p is 25 then this is 25 cos of 70 degrees and similarly there will be one another component which will be perpendicular to that line to this particular line and that component this will be 25 sine of 70 degrees now the moment due to that point p will be equal to the moment produced by this component plus the moment produced by this component now the moment produced by this component is the counterclockwise moment so let's assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive so this sine component is producing the counterclockwise moment so we will write plus 25 sine of 70 degrees multiplied by the perpendicular distance of this component from that point a so the perpendicular distance of this component from that point A is this distance from here to here. So this distance is 14 inch. So I will multiply it with 14. And similarly, this component is going to produce the counterclockwise moment about that point A as well. So we will write plus. And this is 25 cos of 70 degrees multiplied by the perpendicular distance of this component from that point A. So the perpendicular distance of this component from that point A is 1.5 h. So I will multiply it with 1.5. So this is the moment due to the sine component. This is the moment due to the cos component and the summation of both of these moments will give us the total moment produced by that force P which is acting vertically downward. So this is the application of the Varignan's theorem. Now this is 25 sine of 70 multiplied by 14. This gives us 328.89, 328.89 plus 25 cos of 70 multiplied by 1.5. This gives us 12.83, 12.83. And now if I add 328.89 plus 12.83, this gives us the moment of that force P about point A. So this is 341.72, 341.72. And its units will be, since this is in pound and the, this is in inches, so the units are pound inches. And since this is the plus sign, so this means that that force P is producing 
the counterclockwise moment so we will write c c w this is the counterclockwise moment and now if you want to find the moment of that force f about that point a so this is equal to and again we are assuming that the counterclockwise moment is positive so now we can find the moment of this force f by applying the f times d the perpendicular distance we can use this right instead of applying the Wagner's theorem since we are given this distance this uh, three inches distance and if I draw a line from here to here so this is this force f is perpendicular to this line which I have just drawn here so this is the perpendicular distance so now we know this force f we can find this perpendicular distance How we can find this perpendicular distance this force f is making 60 degrees with this vertical line so if this is 60 degrees then this angle is also 60 degrees and if this is 60 degrees this is 90 degrees then this is 30 degrees since the summation of the angles of a triangle is equal to 180 so we can write that this 90 degrees plus this 60 degrees and let's say this is theta plus this theta this is equal to 180 degrees so from this we can write that 180 minus 60 minus 90 so this will give us 30 so 30 degrees so this means that this 3 inch line is making 30 degrees with this d so using this triangle we have the triangle like this we have this triangle like this this is 3 this is theta this is d so now we can say if this theta is 30 then this d is 3 cos of 30 right this d is 3 cos of 30 so the perpendicular distance of that force f from that point a is 3 cos of 30 so we can find it using this uh, scalar product that is f multiplied by the moment arm that is the perpendicular distance so this is 155 multiplied by 3 cos of 30 degrees so now if I multiply this, this is 155 multiplied by 3 cos of 30. This gives us 402.70. 402.70. And as we can see that this force F is producing the clockwise moment about that point A. So we have to put minus sign and this is minus sign. And if we remove this minus sign, then that will be um that is 402.70 the units are pound inches and it is clockwise so now as we can see that the moment uh, produced by that uh, vertical force is less than the moment uh, which this nail is applying right which uh, it is said that to pull out the nail we required this much moment right so if MP the moment due to that vertical force is less than this uh, moment which is required to pull out the nail so that is insufficient right so MP the moment uh, produced by that point uh, vertical force P is insufficient to pull out this nail so this is the solution of this particular problem I hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Hibler Statics.